And I may not have a, a vote in it, but I do have a voice in it. What's new is, is this particular proposal, as far as the defined contribution 401k alternative. I think it just doesn't make sense. An option that in some way seems to encourage people to go into a 401k and compromise their retirement security. Keep in mind that the way it's set up, there's no mandatory employee contribution. And I really think that that issue uh, really gets to the take to, to, to the real point. The heart of what I think is the concern about this choice really being a false choice. I think many people, especially in this tough economy, especially in the lower wage scale, folks who are driving your trucks, the folks who are your clerks, go into this optional 401k. You get freedom of choice, and uh, you don't have to put any money in. We'll put 4% in. You don't have to put the thing in. And you know what, 25, 30 years from now, when some of those people make that one-time one choice, especially early in life, where I know, I know how I was thinking in my 20s is different than how I'm thinking at age 58, who's going to be around to explain to them when all they've got is that 401k that they didn't contribute to in many cases for a long time? The concern about the 401k is that uh, it really compromises retirement security. I'm in a 401k. I'm in a 401k. As a, it's a supplement to my defined benefit plan. Uh, I'm in it. That's a personal choice that I've made. Uh, I don't think a 401k is an adequate substitute for a defined benefit plan. Moving to a defined contribution plan is long term going to hurt people in the state, long term going to weaken our state's economy. Well, you know, certainly, as I said, that my, my, my biggest concern is that 401k option. I think that's a real problem. And I think as far as if we keep it as a defined benefit plan, which is sort of thing is a smart thing to do, we, we need to have uh, an inclusive discussion about what the parameters of that defined benefit plan could be. Uh, I don't have a vote in that, uh, but I certainly think that employers, and we met with today, the labor representatives as well, they need to be part of that discussion to see what they can work out. It worked successfully when we did Tier 5, but we need to set up that same kind of a structure and opportunity for dialogue uh, if there's going to be a tier six.